Hey Concrete friends, Concrete fans, welcome to the joy of concrete. It's me, Mr. Concrete Concrete, and today we're doing a very short, very quick little follow-up video on sealing concrete. So I've got a piece. This is uh, a piece that I made with uh, Rat Girl, uh, just an experimental mold that we picked up on Etsy. Wanted to see how it would work. Wanted to test the, the mold itself. And it, it, it made a really nice casting. But here's our nice casting, and we're like, we get a lot of questions on how do you seal concrete? What do you do? So there's lots of sealants, there's lots of concrete sealants. If you Google concrete sealants, you're gonna find a whole bunch of different ways of sealing concrete. And uh, some concrete sealants are really expensive. One of the bigger issues is concrete sealants sell in big quantities. A lot of times concrete sealants are used for sealing like, floors, countertops, um, lots of stuff. You buy it in five gallon pails, it's like $600 for a bucket of sealant. That's too much sealant. And you know, you're working with a kit, you're at home, you might be in your office or dorm room or working out of your garage. And you're like, what do I, I just want a little bit of sealant. I don't want a whole bunch of sealant. How do I seal, how do I seal just this object? And I'm gonna tell you a little secret something you can use you can go to the local hardware store and just get tile sealant i'm not going to rep any particular tile sealant there's lots of grout and tile sealants out in the world you're just looking for a tile sealant that's used for sealing grout and tile it's used for sealing porous stone and that's going to work on concrete too don't worry about it so i've got a mask on i've got safety gloves I've got some sealant and I'm gonna just pour my sealant just into this little, it's the lid of a ice cream pail. I do a lot of reusing of things and I've got a nice clean cotton rag. It's a, it's a lint-free rag. And I'm gonna blot it into here. And I'm gonna go like this. I look at my, my concrete piece and I'm just to start blotting it around. I like using the cloth. You could use a paintbrush if you want and paint this all in. And we're just gonna blot that sealant on. Get it good and good and sealed. Get it all into all the spots. It's soaking in all already. There we go. Just a regular old tile sealant. You can get this no matter. The reason why I recommend tile sealant is that I don't know. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know where you are in the world. I don't know what size of city or town you live in, but here's what I do know. No matter where you are in the world, there is tile. Someone has tiled something. It may not be in your house, but somewhere in your town, somewhere, your neighbor, somebody, you might even have a tile sealant sitting at home. Tile sealants come in all kinds of different amounts of gloss. There's high gloss tile sealants, there's low gloss, there's matte finish ones. And uh, you know, there's a lot of options. So I'm just hitting everything. I'm just like, let's get, let's get it all. Let's seal it all. Why are we sealing? Uh, we're trying to, number one, if you seal it, it won't, you won't have any of a dusty finish. If you want to put a shine onto something, I don't really want to shine on this. If anything, I would want like kind of a matte finish or a semi-gloss, but I don't, I don't, I don't think concrete should be super glossy. So here's the first part of sealing. This is a really easy way to do this. There's a hard way. Once you've got it sealed, you can also buff wax onto things to seal them. But this has so much detail that if I use a buffed wax technique, it's gonna be really difficult to buff the wax out of all of this, all of these little bits. So I'd rather just, you know what? It's really soaking in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another one. Once I get, once I feel confident that I've got one really nice full seal on here, uh, we can let it dry for a couple hours and hit it again. Hit it as many times as you want. And sometimes hitting a, an object with sealant is, uh, once you have a coat that you like, then you can wax it. Ooh, crazy, huh? Wax it after you seal it, give it a little buff over top, protect that sealant. Man, it's really difficult to get the sealant. There we go down into those eye sockets. We wanna make sure those are well sealed. If you have a skull at home, 
and you don't want to get uh, stains in the in the eye sockets of the skulls. You got to get sealant all down in there in the teeth. This this guy's missing a tooth. Oh man, these are like real tales from the crypt keeper type characters. You remember that guy? I kind of do, barely. I do. That's gonna show my age. If you know what I'm talking about when I say Tales of the Crypt Keeper, you, you might know. You might be able to guess how old I am. Older. Uh, here we go. We're getting all the spots. I feel like this is probably pretty good. Now, final stage. Final stage. This is important when you're sealing. It's not as important with an object like this that has lots of little bits, but if you were sealing a nice big flat thing, the last thing that you want to do is you take your rag. I'm just going to wring my rag out to get it just a little bit drier. Uh, shoot, is there a garbage can? Here it is. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, everyone. I just, I just, uh, I squeezed all the excess sealant out of my rag. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going around my object and wiping up any pooling or puddling. The first stage of sealing is just saturating the surface. A fully saturated surface. I want everything to soak in. Ba Boomba. But now that it's all soaked in, I want to wipe up any excess sealant. And you're like, why do you want to wipe up excess sealant? If I leave pooled and puddled sealant on my object, what's going to happen as it dries is you're going to get these weird like extra shiny kind of even globby little sections that are like it'll look like too thick of sealant in some areas it's gonna it's not it's just not going to be uniform it's not going to be if you leave puddles and pools and big drops in places your sealant coat isn't going to be uniform so you wipe your cloth clean and then we just wipe in really wipe it out and there we're done this is sealed we just sealed something we used off the shelf tile sealant. It's gonna work great. I'm gonna move this like this. Move that like that. I'm gonna say peace out everybody. Thanks for, thanks for sealing objects along with me. One more thing, we don't sell a sealant because it's very difficult to ship sealants. It's not easy. So I'm like, ah, just forget it. You're gonna be able to find all kinds of different sealants. And everybody likes a different type of sealant too. And depending on what you're doing, you may want a different sealant. There's lots of different types of sealant. If you got more questions, comments about sealing concrete, maybe you got advice for me. You're like, you're doing it wrong, Mr. Concrete Concrete. Tell me, I love, I love it when people tell me how I'm doing it wrong. It's my favorite thing. So I'm happy to hear what you've got to say. And uh, that's it, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a good rest of your whatever time to do the things you like to do. Thanks for tuning in.